Hey everyone, it's you nice again. Wow, I had to make it into part four because I'm a pussy. Either way, this is a story. I'm sorry, I had to get some ice. I should have done that before. I knew you were trouble when you saw me like that. This story's gonna be quick. This story's gonna finish up the Captain and Morgan in less than an hour. What? There ain't much room for orange juice, but it don't matter. I need drunk to talk shit about this. I'm going to disrespect a lot of people, and I might not even be alive after this video, but here we go. I might cry during this video, but this is the effects of a police department in Troy, New York, home of Uncle Sam, and the leader was David Dean. I call him Dave the Mean Dean. And Fitzgerald, you ball-headed fuck, you wouldn't even fight me at a Home Depot parking lot after you beat me up with your badge on. And then that four-eyed fucker, I don't even know who your name is, but we'll get to you. Whew, this is going to be a rough one. Let's get this, some of this vodka. Or vodka. Okay, what are we drinking, Captain Moore? I'm going to add more orange juice to it. That's pure chaos. I got to drive tonight. Okay, guys. Here's my whole story with a motherfucking police department from Troy, New York. And I don't give a fuck who shoots me. Come get some, motherfuckers. California don't give a fuck. They don't extradite for fucking family court fucking warrants when my ex-wife was dating one of your brothers. You know who you are, you little fuck stain. Here we go. I had an apartment with a dude. He worked at Red Lobster. We had a party one night, and the next day he said, Dude, don't ever do that again. My CDs got missing when people listen to CDs. The next day, my buddy Jeff Malo. Yeah, I'm using your real name. You're a fucking freak, dude, Jeff Malo. You and your fucking girlfriend used to live with me and my girlfriend. And when you ordered a pizza and your girlfriend didn't pay for it, you disrespected a delivery man? No, I went outside and I said, listen, motherfucker, these are my roommates. When I order a pizza, I pay for it. The dude used to let his dog shit in my fucking room with green carpet and said, go ahead, shit on the floor. Jeff Malo, you're a fucking freak. I don't know if it's your parents' fault. I don't know if Maddie G robbed you. God rest your soul. And fuck you, Davy G. You don't even fucking get a hold of me when my brother dies? You fucked the whole Greg Nano family. Come, come get me. Come get me, FSU. FSU. Toughest gang in fucking Boston. You guys are nothing but fucking losers. I want to fight all of SFU. Me and Dave Turner. We'll fight FSU by ourselves. Everybody's a tough guy. Now you got a black guy in FSU. That just wrecks the whole fucking tradition of being a fucking white anarchist fucking Boston gang, isn't it? Come get some. Either way. So I'm hanging out at this party, right? And my buddy comes back into the kitchen. This is my apartment. This is my deal. This is my half cake party. This dude comes into the kitchen and says, Shoe nice, I just slammed the 
fucking door on a cop. Now, this is the same fat John Bomer. John Bomer, the crackhead. John Bomer, the fucking piece of shit. I took off the streets and the dude couldn't buy me a beer one day. You're a fat crackhead, John Bomer. Your father ran the county jails. Your father ran everything, but he's dead now. So you're a fat piece of shit. So I'm hanging out, right? And I'm just like, oh, I got to answer the door. I open up the door and there's five cops. And he goes, that's him. I'm like, what? That dude grabs me. I grab him. I fucking slam him into the mailboxes. I said, what is my place? And I punch that cop in the face. Belly clubs everywhere. This is before taser days, guys. Belly clubs everywhere. Now, cops at the house. Everybody's running out the back door. They can't get out the back door because the landlord's got the fucking alley blocked, which is illegal. Troy, New York sucks. Uncle Sam, I piss on his grave for giving everybody taxes. Everybody's running out the front street. Now, I'm on the ground getting belly clubs, flashlights, belly clubs, flashlights. They're not even trying to handcuff me. They want to beat me to death. And my friends, 80 of them, are standing on the street. And there's canine units coming up. And my buddy's like, leave him alone. And this fucking dyke-ass cop... We'll get to her. Fucking slams his fingers and they all break. And then everybody bugs out. And there's fucking beer bottles. Canine, canine dogs get beat up. Dudes getting arrested. Thrown out. And this is all because they didn't arrest me. They beat the fuck out of me in front of 80 of my friends. Let's move on. I go to Iraq, I'm sitting in a tent, and Rodney King Beaton comes up on the radio. I'm the only white guy in my tent. I said, fuck you motherfuckers, you better respect this, because feel this lump in the back of my head, which will never go away, Dave Dean. So then we move on to 1994, I go to a party, right? I go to a party in 1994. Here comes the crew again. It is a black and white party. I'm not racist, but a black dude said, you can't come back in here anymore. You're too drunk in the alley. I said, dude, I know the owner of this house really well. Fuck off. I didn't know that the cops already showed up. So I turn around, this black dude grabs me by the neck, trying to choke on me. I do the double punch, knock him the fuck off, but I trip, fall on a cop's shoe. They beat the fuck out of me in front of another party. Sad to say, a cop that just does nothing but canine unit, dare for the kids, he got hit with a rock. My best friend, Matty G, threw that rock. Everybody knew it. Matty G's up in heaven right now because he went back with a girl that fucking just overdosed him on heroin. I love that family. But they blame that fucking assault to a police officer on a black guy. Now we all go down to the station. I'm witness to all these cops. No, no, no. That ain't right. Crumpling up fucking depositions. I'm sorry, but I had a drink during this one. <laughs> so these officers come down out of fucking bed in their pajamas. This black dude is next to me in the cell. And they fucking go in there one by one. And they beat this dude that never even threw the rock. Never even threw that rock and busted that skull of that fucking cop that shouldn't even been there that night. It was my best friend, Maddie G. He's dead now. Threw that rock and split that, that cop still like this to this day. And that motherfuckers. Chain statements to send a black man to prison for six years when he was an A student in college, the coolest guy in the world. And when we went to court and we were all chained up together, I said, bro, 
I am so sorry for doing this to you, dude. I did not mean to do this, dude. I would have just slapped that party. And that dude lost his life. And to this day, with my YouTube status, I will gain that motherfucker. And I will take that assault to a police officer off his record. Because the Troy Police Department is a little shop of horrors. They beat the fuck out of me. I went to a prostitution sting. And I recognized that fat cop. And I said, you're too Fat to be a crack whore. And they got on the phone and them cops arrested me again. And that David Dean, David Dean, look him up, David Dean, former Troy police, I don't know what the fuck he is, but he dragged me out of that car and they pounded me in the fucking face and in my broken back. And David Dean said to me, Well, 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 look who we got here. I dragged you across the alley 14 years ago. That motherfucker, Dave Dean, and Fitzgerald, and everybody in the Troy Police Department, who's that four-eyed fuck that brought me into the station when I brought my brother out on fucking his 21st birthday, and a fat bitch hit me in the head with a bottle of beer, and I knocked out her boyfriend, and you guys arrest me, and I talk shit in the back of the car, and I spit on your fucking window, and and then you brought me into your private room with no camera. And I seen the wing on your way to the sergeant. And you beat the fuck out of me with a leather fucking blackjack. With a lead ball in it dude. So I said uncle. I gotta end this video. But I'm gonna make another one. But the Troy. To, uh, no no no. The Troy Police Department. The mayor. Kicked me off of City Hall property when I was protesting police brutality. Troy, New York, the home of Uncle Sam, I pissed on his grave so you wouldn't have taxes. Yeah, no, I didn't. I peed next to it. Yeah, I would never pee on anybody's grave. But the Troy to blow, I'm going to just say this, David Dean from the Troy Police Department made me the insane fucker man of today. You can shoot me, motherfucker. Part four coming up. No more police drama. But Dave Dean's a pussy. And I'm going to make sure he gets us on the Troy Police Facebook page. Let's talk about my woman in the next thing.